making candle at home it's actually really fun and it's very efficient because wherever I have some leftover I can just mat them and reuse them so there's no yucky things in there it's just fun to make so today I'm going to mix some coconut oil with some bee wax I used less of a coconut oil than the bee wax you can get creative with what you want to put in there I used some leftover decoration from Christmas <laughs> it's gonna be really nice in there as a scent and also I'm going to use some essential oils so the secret to create a nice scented candle that you have to use a lots of essential oils so no wonder why they are expensive in the store it's because you have to use a lot to be able to smell it A few tips for a neat folding if you fold a shirt that is kind of twisted around you know those cheap shirts <laughs> you just have to start from the bottom so match the bottom part give a good shake then make it flat on the ironing board I like to use the ironing board because it has fabric on it so I can easily manage the way I want to fold it this non slippery surface helps a lot after each fold smoothen the edges and that will give a crispy look to the clothes stars i want to drive a faster car matching the corners of the fitted sheet will allow me to flatten out to a shape where it can be folded into a square form that's looking fun and i know this is my time now To remember when to water the plants, I do that when I change the sheet, so that way it gets done once a week. I love my swirling glass storage. Taking out the air makes the food last longer five times. So we haven't thrown out any food signs I bought them. I will leave the link down below in the description box. I bought it off of Amazon. It's easy to use and clean. When I'm baking a bread, I have to measure out the milk and I need to warm it up. So on that thought, I bought the stainless steel measuring cup. So it could simplify things when I prepare the bread. I had some apple cider in there from the previous day. So that's what I'm going to try to drink up all the way. So I'm going to bounce off of the wall. Only to have discovered that my awesome purchase has a liter and a quart measurement instead of the cup. Mm -hmm. 
the recipe that I used to make this bread I will leave it down below in the description box although I altered that a little bit I've been playing around with that so I will leave it down there what I changed as well I have a pre-soak function on my washing machine but before I had that basically I just stopped the machine soon after it filled up with water so that way I was able to soak it and after about 20 minutes I just restarted the washing machine and soaking is the key to get a very clean clothing especially with white The warmth that is coming from the fireplace is cozy and the whole house is glowing from the light it gives but it sure comes with a price it's very messy however a brush can take care of that big mess very fast okay it's pretty promising actually it looks really good from the outside <laughs> what i'm afraid of is the inside the taste mm -hmm. okay hmm. so I have to try to make these again so all I did I just added more um, almond flour so it's a half half but as it was mixing it I had to add more of the Namaste brand gluten-free flour because it was just too soft so I was afraid it's going to just collapse but no it's actually holding up very nice I used less of the honey as well it's fun to play around with that when it turns out good <laughs> if I end up with a not such a good result then it's such a waste so I'm very happy it worked
preparing for the next day so i'm putting together some dough <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be something that was inspired by a glass ornament yes you heard that right <laughs> i'm going to make a glassy heart shape cookies and um, so i'm going to put away the bread that i made i'm going to do a quick cleanup go to bed and i'm going to share with you very soon how i created that glassy looking cookies so stay tuned until the end of this video to see that I'm going to make three separate meal from one whole chicken. Buying a whole chicken, it is the most efficient way cost-wise, but also it is a more balanced way of eating it as well. To cover the chicken breast and the cauliflower that I blanched earlier, I used some grounded beans, it's called the lupin. It makes everything very crispy and it's gluten-free. For a second, I'm going to prepare some Hungarian chicken soup and I have to use a lot of parsley for that and all the vegetables that we have at home and the third food that I'm going to create from this one whole chicken is the Hungarian stuffed chicken so for the soup I use the back part and all that it's left is the legs and the chicken wings so I'm going to put this stuffing under the skin The candles are turned out perfect so I really recommend this combo to use more coconut oil and I have one that is burning today and it's been all day it's been burning evenly and slowly and the scent is amazing I really like the size of the candle I think that helps to burn evenly as well but for now let's start to make that cookie that was inspired by a Christmas ornament that is made from glass it's just a little heart and I want to recreate this with a cookie so I mixed some eggs almond flour basically it's just a very simple gluten free sugar cookie recipe but I used maple syrup instead of the cane sugar and I just added more flour to it just to make it more firm now the biggest step that helped me to create a nice smooth texture and easier to cut out the shape that I let it rest for all night in the refrigerator so that's a huge step I used to skip that one because I am a very impatient person if it's about something to create <laughs> I want to see how it turns out but this time I took the time and it was worth it Found what we're looking for in life crazy but things are finally right my plan with this cookie is to make a bright color without any artificial coloring so now i'm just going to use some egg whites to seal the cookie before i put the liquid in hibiscus has this gorgeous velvety color so i'm going to use that i'm going to make a tea and i'm going to add some gelatin to it just to create this glassy look for the flavor, I added some maple syrup and orange flavoring. After that, I'm adding 3 tablespoons of gelatin. <laughs> okay the color didn't turn out as I expected so I getting some help from the cherry powder and that actually made it really brightly colored since the plan B worked I don't have to use the plan C which was jam <laughs> How 
however with the jam it wouldn't have the same result because i really wanted to have this shiny glassy look and all the leftover i'm going to use them up covering all the frozen fruits so if you use some frozen strawberries it will taste amazing and it will be done in minutes because of the frozen strawberry helps to solidify the gelatin and also the gelatin since it's hot it helps the strawberry to defrost quickly I really appreciate that you took the time to watch until the end thank you so much for clicking on this video don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this content and i will see you soon in the next video bye